Hey folks, Mayor Tom Koch here with our COVID-19 update. Uh, cases are up a little bit today. We're up to 909 confirmed cases, an increase of about 24 since our last report, and 83 deaths, which is an increase of three deaths since our last report. We're also up to 385 now that have recovered, which is also a very good stat, actually. We, we like to see that one continue to rise. So total cases in Mass, Massachusetts, just over 70,000. Uh, really, the thing that uh, has been most talked about the last couple of days with the health department has been the Walmart situation, as you probably know by now. The Walmart in Quincy was shut down as of yesterday at 3.30, uh, and the, it was done voluntarily by the corporate uh, of Walmart, even though they were under duress. Uh, Ruth Jones, our health commissioner, was been on top of this for about a week and dealing with the management at the site and was ready to close it down had they not uh, done it themselves. Um, there were clearly some issues there. Uh, 11 employees had tested positive. We've had one person pass away from the Walmart. We certainly uh, express our sympathy to her family. Um, but, you know, it's really about the health and safety of the workers and our residents. So that store will be closed until further notice. There has been a protocol set up with Manor Community Health Center. They're overseeing the testing for the employees. And until the City of Quincy Health Department in corporate uh, is satisfied with the progress, really, of the testing of the employees that will remain closed. Uh, in addition, before they reopen, the entire store will be, will be uh, sanitized and, and uh, the appropriate measures will be taken before they open up again. So again, uh, we've watched these things very closely. Ruth Jones and her inspectors are doing a great job. And I'm grateful for, for her work. I uh, also want to acknowledge the great work of our police and fire departments, Brewster Ambulance, Ali Sleeman from Emergency Management. Everybody is working so well together and really operating off the same page, again, for your health uh, and safety. I also want to acknowledge the, the great work of our school teachers. The school year continues, very different uh, for everybody, people at home as well as the teachers, using the technology we have with the virtual uh, learning that is happening. So I'm grateful for the educators for the great work they're doing. And as of this date, we have served over 40,000 meals since the schools have closed. And I want to thank our food service employees at Quincy Public Schools who have been coming in every day and preparing those meals. So we're, we're certainly grateful to them for their work. We keep you updated um, on a daily basis, as you know. If you have any questions about anything, you can call my office, 617-376-1990. Remind you about the Quincy Relief Fund. It is growing. Uh, that's in there to help. We've already actually written a check to the Salvation Army out of there to help with your food pantry. Uh, check for 25000 went there, so your money's going to good use. We've been directing people directly from our office to them when people are calling for assistance and in general. So uh, I appreciate their work, the Germantown Center with the food pantry and the work that they're doing. Quincy Community Action, the Southwest uh, Food Pantry, they are doing great work. The St. John's and St. Joe's Food Pantry is doing great work. We know that uh, they're under more duress than normal, and we're going to continue to provide them more resources uh, as they're out on the front lines helping people get through this through this crazy time. Um, so if you're interested, the relief fund is at the Colonial Federal Savings Bank, 15 Beach Street in Quincy, Wollaston, 02170. Any questions of the health department, 617-376-1272. Please follow the guidelines. We continue to follow the program of masks on when you're in, uh, particularly grocery stores, pharmacies, and when you cannot social distance. If you're out walking by yourself, you don't need a mask. But when you're in among people, you should have a mask on for your own safety and that of others. And please, when you finish with the mask, dispose of it properly. We appreciate that. Stay safe. Till next time, God bless.